Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. May this ritual awaken us to our true nature. May we fully recognize God, Goddess, as transcendent other, as imminent creation, as community, and as the image within us all. God is within us and God is amongst us. Let us lift up our hearts into the mystery. Let us be thankful for all the ways in which we feel the presence of the divine. Father, all powerful and mother ever living, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. All things are of your making, all times and seasons obey your laws created us in your own image, making us responsible for the planet and all its wonders. As stewards of creation, we recognize and honor you in all your other creatures. God, the cosmic dancer, we honor you, you who choreograph the solar flares, the orbits of the planets and the wild careening of the comets and meteors. You who can name every ancient rock and asteroid belt. You who tangos with the typhoons and twisters and tornadoes, we honor you. God, goddess, the ultimate artist, we honor you. You who paint sunrises and sunsets, the plumage of birds and the camouflage of insects. You who with your finest brushes watercolor the wings of butterflies and the costumes of flowers, we honor you. God, the sculptor, we honor you. You who chisel out rocks and mountain ranges and cup your hands to form sand and dunes, we honor you. God, the writer, we honor you. You who leave traces of your penmanship everywhere, whose mystical meaning is often misunderstood by the scriptures of the world, scriptures in which unity consciousness is fragmented into sectarian separation you who secreted in the wink in the winking of the distant star the rosetta stone which would allow us to transcend to translate every experience into christ consciousness we honor you god the musician we honor you you who make flutes of the willows by the lakeside and of the reeds on the riverbanks. You whose bass baritone reverberates in the thunder and whose soprano trills in the morning music of the blackbird. You who drum ecstatically with your raindrops on the sun-parched plains. You who calls us from beyond... <laughs> <laughs> God the Awakener, we honor you. You patiently call forth more and more complete images of yourself until a species is born that remembers fully. You who sends avatars into every age to nudge religion towards spirituality and to move us to experience the God within and the God among us. You who are the sender of Siddhartha and the commissioner of the Christ. You who are the gentle mother watching while the great crisis of our times are understood for what they really are. Great opportunities for seeing beyond the separation into the oneness of isness, our origin, our mission and our home. We honor you.
And so since infinity is contained in a single grain of sand, we choose bread and we choose wine, the blood of the vine, symbols offered by the avatar, the God-man Jesus. And with altered vision, we see back into his lifetime as a carpenter mystic, to the mystical core of his message, and beyond that, into the purpose of his coming. Even at the greatest crisis time of that incarnation, on the night before he was cruelly killed, even then, he could reach into the core of his own being, and using the food of his last meal with his friends, say, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, the body which I accepted at my incarnation, the body that I needed for my mission, the body which is a visible sign of the Word made flesh. And you also have done the same, and so remember me through this. And then reaching for the cup, he told them, take this too, all of you, you who would aspire to Christ consciousness, for this is the cup of my blood. It binds us together. Since we all share the blood of being human, truly we are blood brothers and blood sisters. So it is a covenant between us. It is the final covenant. A covenant to dissolve the illusions of separateness. A covenant that opens your eyes to the realization that we are not separate from God and that we are not separate from each other and that we are not separate from nature. This remembering will take away the sin of living in a state of separation. Whenever you celebrate this ritual, remember this.